Malaysia is continuing to press for safe and unrestricted access to the MH17 crash site in eastern Ukraine, more than a week after the tragedy. Transport Minister Dato Sri Liao Tiong Lai says the site is still not safe for investigators to conduct their work. We do not want to see our uh, evidence being tampered. We do not want our site to be tampered. We want to see, we want to have a full access to the accident site. And uh, that, is one, that is why we continue to insist and we hope that the world uh, bodies, uh, OSCE as well as other uh, bodies can come in and give us uh, the assistance. I must thank the OSCE bodies uh, when we, with our request. Uh, they have uh, arranged a special path for Malaysian tree expert uh, to enter the uh, trust uh, site. And this is something that we have achieved. And at the meantime, uh, we have completed the first phase of the investigation. Leo arrived at KL International Airport or KLIA Friday evening after spending five days in Kiev, Ukraine and Amsterdam. On Monday, Malaysia had been promised safe access to the crash site to allow a full investigation of the incident. This was among three criteria in an agreement between Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Raza and the Ukrainian separatist group. Liao also says experts found the black boxes to be in good condition. Kota Hitam uh, telah pun dihantar ke Farnborough, United Kingdom uh, bersama-sama uh, disaksikan oleh 10 uh, pakar expert daripada berbagai negara termasuk uh, pakar kita daripada negara kita, Malaysia. Uh, dan black box telah pun uh, dibuka dan didapati black box ini uh, tidak dirosakkan, tidak dicemari. Uh, black box ini boleh uh, kita dengar kandungannya. Dan uh, kita telah jalankan uh, black box ini, uh, pendengaran cockpit uh, voice recorder dan juga uh, flight path uh, recorder, uh, data recorder telah dilakukan dan uh, kita terpulang kepada pihak uh, penyiasat dan uh, badan antarabangsa untuk dokumen semua bukti-bukti yang kita dapati. He also says the top priority now is to have the bodies of the victims returned to their families. Flight MH17 heading to Kuala Lumpur from Amsterdam was shot down over the troubled eastern Ukraine airspace on July 17, killing all 298 passengers and crew members on board.